Have you guys ever heard Spanish-speaking people saying woke? Have you ever heard that before? Do you know how funny that is? They are so desperate to be American conservatives that they just import American conservative terms and say them, but in a Spanish um, pronunciation. You're about to see it. So I was just today made aware of the existence of um, a very obviously inorganic attempt by the Argentine right wing to like create a new media right wing media organization. So just look at this channel and you know what I mean. So it's a channel that pops up out of nowhere with a, with a, a crew of like dozens of different people that uploads videos that get like a thousand views each. You know, look at the thumbnails, look at all the different people. They have like a studio. You kind of have to wonder, you know, you don't really have to wonder at all. This is something that obviously pops up because it's funded by like some right wing lobbying group to try and basically get to the place that other other people have gotten to without needing to do such things. You know, Kururu means raw. And it's like, you know, a right wing libertarian pro melee um, channel. But what, what I wanted to talk about this for was, um, I, and you can tell from the very still image that you're going to see that this is fucking hilarious. This importation of like American style, like 2IQ conservatism to Argentina being presented to you by what seems to be a 14 year old boy with, for, for some reason with multiple Israeli flags around him. What the fuck am I looking at? And who apparently denied climate change in this video because there's like a UN disclaimer on the video. What is climate change? You know, when, when I'm a far right millionaire and I'm trying to make an AstroTurf YouTube channel, the first thing that I do is, hey, get me a 14 year old boy who like really likes Israel. You know, that's what we need here. Get me the widest, Dumbest kid you can find to talk about wokeismo. If you've never heard someone pronounce woke in Spanish, you're about to. La ciudadanía y siempre quieren cuidar sus privilegios. So the Argentine far right have like this narrative where the privileged people in society aren't like millionaires. It's like public and public employees, like public school teachers, state employed scientists, like doctors in public hospitals. For them, those people make up what they call the castes. And those people have uh, very privileged and they need to be battled. Whereas, you know who doesn't have privileges? This random 14-year-old kid ranting incoherently and being paid by, by millionaires to do so. That, that is not privileged. What is privileged is like a, a teacher in a public school. So that is what he's talking about here. Let's see if I can get some automatic subtitles for you idiots. Nope, I cannot. He's saying, I got what he's saying is like, um, like the political caste meaning those people who I just went over are shaking in fear at, at him. They are shaking in fear right now. They are s afraid of losing their privileges because the 14 year old boy with a bunch of Israeli flags around him screeching on a, on a live stream watched by 2000 people total about wokeism. They are terrified of that. Have you ever heard uh, a 14 year old boy say in, a, in, a, in Spanish wokeism? You're about to. A exponer a todo lo que es la casta política, todo ese grupo de políticos que están en contra del pueblo, de la ciudadanía y siempre quieren cuidar. This guy talks about, by the way, he, he identifies with the people. He is of the people. I've never seen a person who is less of an example of the people than this guy. He has never worked in his life. He will never work in his life. He could never work in his life and his parents would still pay for everything for him. And this, like, who would watch this anyway? Who would watch this? How dumb would you have to be? I don't even get it. Even if you, be you believe in everything that he's saying, how would you watch this? sus privilegios. Eh, también este programa va a estar especificado a abordar la agenda anti-woke. Anti la agenda anti-woke. Anti-cultura woke, anti eh, los pro-Palestina, los pro-universidad pública y gratuita. Que ok, so he's, he, in this program, he is going to counter the woke agenda, the woke cultural agenda, the pro-Palestine people, and the people who support public and free universities that is that he's outlining what he is for and that is it is this guy like even tied to israel in any in any way or is he just like a like a 14 year old boy who decided that because israel genocides people that makes them right wing and he's right wing so he supports them i gotta say i don't think anyone is trembling i don't think anyone is shaking in their boots over this i don't think anyone is afraid i think People will laugh at this. People will laugh that this is being said with a straight face rather than as part of a parody TV show. This is something from like 10 years ago in the US and it's just now arriving to Argentina. Argentina is very far behind. All the trends arrive there so, so late. Like this, the One Direction singers, they all arrive like 15 years late and they fall out of, out of balconies. It's absolutely incredible that 
people are still making shit like this. I mean, I'm not gonna say it works, because it clearly doesn't. This isn't really, but it could work. I might be giving people too much credit. This could work. Either way, he's, you know, he's, he's not getting paid based on his success, he's getting paid based on the people who funded this in the first place. This is a kid who has never worked in his life, who will never work in his life, who has the goal to, to be like, fuck public universities, fuck teachers, fuck doctors. These are the people who in a just world would be working in the mine, but the world isn't just. So they're sc screeching on YouTube about um, La Agenda Woke. 